hello my lovelies welcome or welcome back to the channel this is junk journal july days 13 and 14 this is a challenge that is made by meg journals in collaboration with get messy art and i'm kamaria by the way for everyone who is new i'm kamaria i am 35 years old i am a stay-at-home mom who likes to uh hoard trash and glue things to things so welcome if you're new because um these junk journal challenges always get me lots of new subscribers so hello welcome thank you for being here i appreciate you um, welcome to chaos. Um, just so everybody knows, I am very transparent on my channel. We are kooky. We are cr a little crazy, uh, but we have a great time here. <laughs> um, I am not one of those uh, junk journalers who does super pretty um, or, or uh, you know, organized. <laughs> so just so you know what you're in for, okay? <laughs> But um, we're doing light and weather. So I scoured through my magazines and I found this beautiful, what I glued in the right hand corner, this beautiful like the sun peep, like shining through the trees. And I was just like, oh my God, that's so gorgeous um, for light. And then I found this gorgeous blue sky because it's summertime, y'all. And I live in Florida. Um, so it is a Especially when I'm doing the voiceover today, I'm outside with my child. <laughs> She's playing in the hose. But um, it is sunny. It is beautiful, sunshiny, blue skies. So I was like, yes, I wanted to do bright, sunny summer weather. I also found this picture of like a house, but it was like, it had like a lighthouse tower. So I was like, okay, light, lighthouse, we'll we'll do that and then for some reason i really wanted to put a hot air balloon in the sky um because it just felt felt right um and then i just picked some like other kind of bluish things i got that ticket and then i ripped up another one i actually really wanted to keep a lot of that script from that paper on there because i just thought it was really uh it was really pretty um i'm gonna go in here and pick a a lady that I feel goes with the scene but I do really want to keep as much as that like pretty little uh you know calligraphy or like I guess what you would write with a quill you know because I just think that was really really cool so I wanted to try to keep a lot of that um script I do have some stickers that I wanted to put that I wanted to put on you know around some flowers and best day ever and this little sunshine just to kind of tie in the weather element and you know this collage it's just it's giving me positivity it's giving me you know start your day off right it's giving me just everything um <laughs> uh I am all about manifesting right now. It's like, okay, you want self-fulfilling prophecy, you know, like you want positivity in your life. You got to create it, you know, be in the right mindset. And if me, you know, doing <laughs> this challenge or journaling does that, go for it, my friend, because life be lifing, okay? And I, I was talking to my mom the other day and I basically was like, uh, the world is like a big freaking dumpster fire right now. And she's like, well, because my mom is of an age, she's seven, almost 80. And she was like, well, realistically, it's always been this way. Yeah, you know, it's just that we know about it now, you know. With technology, <laughs> you know the internet and being able to know what's going on across the world <clears throat> sometimes ignorance is bliss it's like yeah on one hand you want to be informed <laughs> but at the same time it was it wasn't really uh information 
wasn't really as readily available as it is now. And I feel like sometimes, and I know it seems a little hypocritical since I make videos on YouTube, social media type stuff, but sometimes when you're always plugged in, I feel like it can mess with your mental state because you're just, it's not that people are more violent or things are happening more than they did before. It's just, we know about it. We hear about it. We can know what happens in a country across the world um, when before those kind of avenues of communication were not open. So it's like, uh, sometimes you just got to take a break. And I know that, you know, it's not that you don't feel empathy for other people's, you know, plight. <laughs> it's just sometimes for your own mental health, you have to kind of check out of those things. Because sometimes when you turn on the news, all you hear about is all the horrible things happening in the world, you know? So if I have to just sit here and distract myself with stickers, so be it. <laughs> But I actually really love how this spread turned out. Um, it's very, like I said, it's very bright. It's very positive. And I am here for it. It is giving everything. Um, I think <laughs> this big long pause is me getting up to get a marker. Because <laughs> I am still trying to make sure that I write my... Um, prompts so I don't forget what day is what prompt because by the end of the challenge I'm going to be like wait what day was this what prompt was this so it just kind of helps me keep track so I'm just putting light and weather and even though I'm the, like the biggest maximalist on the planet I actually feel like this is done and I like the way it is I added some extra stickers and stuff, but that's all she wrote. I'll see you in the next one, guys. Bye.